This week on Loyal Life Wednesday, I'm dipping into the river with one of my favorite birds, the dipper. Today, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite birds, the dipper. This unique Irish songbird can be found along shallow, fast-flowing rivers and streams in most parts of Ireland. The Irish dipper is also unique because it's a subspecies of the white-throated dipper, the difference being the rusty brown band at the base of the white bib on the breast of the Irish bird. The bird's common name dipper comes from its peculiar bobbing up and down behavior and not, as many people think, from dipping its head underwater to feed. Its white bib, or possibly its black back, are suggested as the origin of the Irish name Gawa Dove, meaning blacksmith. I believe that in the past it was also called water oozel or water blackbird, although I've never heard it referred to as such. But it seems to make sense when you consider that Emerging from this line of thinking comes an alternative Irish name, Lun Owen, which translates as River Blackbird. But I'll leave this particular line of thinking to those better qualified than I. The life cycle of the Dipper is intimately linked to the waterways it inhabits, the rivers and streams it relies on for food and breeding. It feeds by diving into these fast-flowing waters and searching for macroinvertebrates such as mayfly or stonefly larvae amongst the stones and pebbles on the riverbed. Their short, broad wings help them to move underwater, while their strong legs enable them to grip onto rocks as they search. And all the while they're kept warm and dry by their very dense plumage. They truly are a unique bird. Dippers generally breed earlier than other passerines, beginning in March through May, to coincide with the abundance of the aquatic macroinvertebrates which they rely on for their survival. Their nests, which are about the size of a football, are generally found above running water, in holes and walls, or in riverbanks, or under bridges, or even behind the water which flows over weirs along the river. One such nest, behind the weir on Dodder Road in Rathfarnham, where I grew up, is said to have been there for more than 50 years. You might think this is a silly place to build a nest, but in actual fact, these nests are a great example of how these wonderful little birds adapt to their environment because the walls of the nest are made of moss and this gives great protection from the elements, while the lining of the nest is made from the leaves of deciduous trees and this in turn means that any water which might come into contact with the eggs drains away quickly before it can cause any damage. Speaking of eggs, the female will normally lay four or five eggs, which she then incubates for 16 days. Both parents will then feed the chicks for a further 18 days, at which point they're ready to fledge. Once out of the nest, the parents will continue to bring food to the fledglings for another week or so, during which time they'll learn to fend for themselves. About 10 days or so after the first clutch have fledged, the parents will begin a second clutch and the life cycle begins again. And on that note, I'll leave you today with a slideshow of some of my dipper photographs from recent years, which I hope you'll enjoy.
Well, thanks again for watching Wildlife Wednesday, folks. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and if you did, I'd be grateful if you'd give it a like and subscribe to my channel. When you do, don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified every time I upload new content. Till next week, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands and wear a mask where necessary while continuing to maintain social distancing. We're not out of the woods yet. Take care, folks. Bye.